Uh, getting there, viewers. Another camp, this time at Camp Nordic. There's WW. Cheating today, I need a cup of tea. <laughs> Stuart's new fireplace that he's built there. That's awesome. Oh, what a lovely day again. There's all the uh, stuff there. I've got my guitar today as well, look, viewers. Seeing some ging gang gooly gooly around the fire later. <laughs> ging gang gooly? <laughs> so, get the uh, kettle on. Oh. Stuart will be down soon with his mate. Gary, isn't it? Yeah, Gary covered out, I think. Hello, subscriber as well. Yeah. Week. So kettle on as usual and all the other camp bits to do so it's a beautiful day for it. Someone approaching camp there viewers. Oh, here's the, here he is. Hey, all right, Stu. Lovely day for it, mate. Morning, viewers. <laughs> Time to call this. You're late. <laughs> God. Right. Lovely day, isn't it, Stu? It's beautiful. Awesome. There really, you go. Really good. Fire's going, mate. Cool. Right, there's Stuart down. Awesome. There's Stuart getting his. Bed ready for, for the evening. Be nice to comfy in there, Stu. Hopefully. Nice. That's awesome. Kettle on. There's my hotel for the night. And there's WW down there. Sorting his hammock out. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, nice place to dangle there. All set. I've got a lovely prawn salad tonight, absolutely delicious. There's the old my 12 string guitar, which I've had for about 30 years. Nice axe, this one. Yamaha, that was 252 quid back then. Tune that up later, just let it acclimatise. Humidity and temperature changes play havoc with guitars. So, get that kettle board again, another brew. There we are, all set at Camp Nordic. They were here before me today. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There's Gary, he's come down for a camp. Yep. Nice. Cup of coffee. Right. Beautiful bit of cowboy coffee there, look, folks. Okay, you know, on. I've got eggs, steak, asparagus. Potatoes, onions, bacon, sausages. Oh, we've got plenty of grub. I've got prawn salad. <laughs> Lovely. With new <laughs> potatoes. I don't normally eat lunch, so I haven't got anything for lunch. Oh, we've got some bacon rolls for, for lunch. There we are, folks. We're all set now for camp. Enjoy this beautiful day. Lunch is served, folks. Bacon baps. 
โอ้โหAbout because of the blade, I'm worried about it. Yeah. <laughs> that's that, yeah. That should do that long one. And it's quite smooth. Actually. It's a nice straight grain. If the other one should split. Once yeah. you get it going, it will split down like that, Steve. If it does. Yeah. If it was split, if it was split nice and straight, it'd be right. Cool. What's this for again, Stuart? Sawhorse. Sawhorse is making there that, out of this bit of uh, ash. Trying to split it eight for eight. Oh, yes, yeah. she's going, Stu. Yeah. Look, she, she's right down to here, let's do. Okay. Stop in the middle now. Get some this wedges. Quite straight, actually. It's not bad. I was going to <coughs> well, get some wedges it's in there, folks, and Carol splitting that down through. Oh, yeah, she's going right down the middle there, look, folks. Yeah, it's going nicely, it's nice and straight. The other side, Stu, she going like, yeah, she's going pretty good. Oh, look, these wedges say you're supposed to wear goggles. Yeah. Safety first, viewers. Oh, yeah. Oh, aren't we? Yeah, we've got goggles on. Safety first. Hmm. Hear it. Cracking apart. We're going to the other side. Splitting quite nicely, that. <coughs> I 
She'll pop in half in a minute, Stu. I can hear it going. Yeah, she's gradually going. There she goes. Just need to go through your action to cut the straps. There you go. <laughs> well, we turned it over, but a wedge in put the, the other side. Put the front, we'll take the front right away down. Don't worry with the stick, just use the Tap it. There, there she go. goes. There you are, folks. Nice split wood there. Look at that. Nice one, Stuart. A bit of cleaning up to do, but. Yeah, a bit of cleaning up. That's what I about. You need, in the, you need, in the, you need a sawhorse to be still the sawhorse. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nice one. Fine, mate. Yeah. Got a place that a lot of people want to take it out of. Yeah. Uh, that'll flatten that down. Nice there, but a lot of work to go yet on this piece. I'll put it in the sawhawks now if I were you. It's like a jockey. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that'd be alright. Let's take it. I'll fetch that out or we'll take that in and put it on yeah. across there. On the, on the sawhawks, yeah. I'm going to have a drink. <laughs> this is it. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's work done for today. I'm allowed to do it. <laughs> it's a work in progress. <laughs> oh, yeah. Exactly. Now, you've done a bit with your camera on. <laughs> you know, generate your electric plane out. That's <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, sure, I'm sure you probably see a lot of people. That's what they actually do. Yeah. Yeah, cheat, yeah. yeah. Uh, Stuart, you don't cheat, do you, Stuart? No, firstly, don't succeed. Cheating. <laughs> don't need nails or electrical. Who needs a chainsaw to do that? Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. Another cup of tea on the go there, folks. So that is going to be absolutely. Mm. Oh, Stuart's just noticed at the bottom of this tree, folks, all this like sawdust here. Of course, it's those little bees. They must have a little nest in the stump of this tree. Yeah, out oh, he comes, there's one. Oh, that's brilliant. Nice little bee's nest. Oh, down that way over there, folks, is there some farm machinery. I think they're cutting the silage. Fields. We'll have a look up through here. Um, yeah, this field will be re ready for cutting soon. I'll look at it. Good crop of it this year, where we've had lots of rain, it's grown really well. Very nice. A lovely place. Very nice.
I'm trying to think where, being that's flatter, I wonder if that would be a better place for the seat, because yeah, that's a bit do. twisted, isn't it? Well, if you come this side and look, you'll find that you've got to come down quite a long way on this yeah, end. Yeah, there's a big knot there. Yeah. Bit there, mate. Oh, very good. That'll be okay. Now we leave old Stu there to whittle away there and uh, see how he gets on with his uh, what's it again? A shave horse? Shave horse, yeah. How lucky, Stuart. See, that's the fact you probably only want, you've probably got the hinge about there, don't you? About here, isn't it? Yeah. Well, you have the thing there, the hinge there, so in actual yeah. fact you may, even, you may even find that you can cut that better where the knot is. Yeah. yeah he's getting there, look, folks, flattening that piece of timber down. Working so hard because all you do is, well, if you do that up there, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you Jersey raw new potatoes in the zebra can there folks waiting to sort in the fire out so you get the grill over the top for his gammon. He's on gammon salad, I've got prawn salad. This is has got steak. Gary's got steak, that's so should be quite a delicious feast again. <laughs> yeah, you have to try to thread it on there, I think, mate. It's quite a tender piece of snake, that, by the look of it. Pick up some flavour of the smoke from the fire. Might need to push it in the ground a bit, Stu. That's all clay there now, just rock solid. Come round this side, it might be easier. Flavour from the smoke there. 
uh, be grilled off or fried off later. Lovely. Lovely. Look at that, folks. Mm. This is Stuart's homemade mead. Now the cork's breaking up. Oh, his cork's gone. Right, when he finally gets into that, folks, <laughs> I've never tried mead, so that'd be interesting. Well, that's because, uh, salad vegetables there and a bit of cheese prepped. Wayne's got the same. Just wait to get the prawns on that. And this Stuart, look, he's got asparagus for you to go with his steaks. Beautiful stuff that is. Makes your wee smell though. <laughs> and Bloody there's Gary charming. there doing onions and potatoes. He's going to fry, nice. fry them up together. Do you want some butter to fry them in, Gary? I've got some butter here, mate. I've got some butter. You've got butter. Oh. Butter. 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 <laughs> Must be so slowly cooking. Plain steak there. And Stuart steaks hang up. It's going to be absolutely delicious. Well, there's my prawn salad there, folks. And there's WW of his gammon. Gary yeah, just there getting his grills ready to put the getting steaks cooking in a bit. Awesome. That'd be hot. Eh? I think that's hot. It was certainly hot. Mm. Beautiful steaks. Like that. And uh, Gary's been cooking up. Oh, look at that. Onion spuds, wild garlic. Looks delicious. Look at the size of that. That's just fine. Oh, yes. Mm. Really lovely. Oh, look at those, like Stuart's corkscrew. Look at that, folks. He's, he's, he's made out of an old gnarly bit of wood, look. Fossilised dog shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's awesome. It's bushcraft. Yeah. <laughs> That's it, mate. That's awesome. It's always Nick's gifts. That's it. good. It's mostly buttering down there, and it? Oh, bloody hell, it came through that. <laughs> it's come through the bottom of the plate quite well. <laughs> Nice, look at that folks. Ribeye steak, asparagus, onions, spuds. And wild garlic. Oh yeah. And then, don't forget the wild garlic. Lovely lovely. Oh god. <laughs> Point that bloody thing of me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Alright, folks, I've uh, have had all our dinner. Yeah, cut the beers and all by the sounds yeah. of things. You <laughs> <laughs> no, had the mead. That's so. that bloody mead, Stuart, mate. That's how you actually. That's good. That's got a good kick in it. It's good stuff. We've got another bottle yet. Oh, God, no. Oh, no. Oh, God. No. I can't make me walk out with it. <laughs> that was... oh, I'd be walking to bed after that. Uh, <laughs> Good stuff, though. Yeah, it's lovely. Lovely bit of mead, that is. First time I've ever tried it, it's really nice. Doesn't taste like it's like 20, 20% alcohol, does it, G? Oh, blimey, it's got some punch to it. Yeah. There's the fire roaring away, though. Nice. Oh. 
that quite comfortably, can you? Very medicinal. <laughs> Roy's on the, there's old Royston viewers. He's on that goes with a bottle of mead. Yeah. What a Stuart's made. Meady, meady. And it's, it's good stuff. It's, yeah. What was it, Stuart? The first alcoholic drink ever made by man yeah. was mead. There you go. Yeah. That's an alcohol fact, that is, viewers. There you go. Full Viking stuff, you Yeah, see. so old James May and Oz Clark would love that, wouldn't they? When yeah. they're, um, <laughs> their, what was it, their great wine adventure. That is yeah. a wine fact, but that is an alcohol fact. That's it. I bet when they first done their first brew, and they thought, right, let's try this stuff. And they end up giggling mess at the end of the night. I thought, well, this is good. <laughs> we'll make some more of that. Go out of a quick break from pillage. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But believe it or not, <clears throat> the flight of agaric oh, the, mushroom. Uh, who's the genetic they mushroom? They say it's poisonous, deadly poisonous, but the Vikings used to eat it. Really? Before really? they oh, went, in, before they went into battle. Ah. Because yeah. it took all their fears away. Yeah. So they didn't care if they lived or died because... They were high as kites. Yeah. There you go, another bit of history, um, fact for you. Look at that, a Vi Viking fact that is, folks. <clears throat> they used to get, they used to basically trip their tits off to go to battle. Yeah. That's it. Why not? Right. Obviously, if they're going <clears throat> to rape and pillage, they don't care what the woman looks like either, do they? That's true. <laughs> <laughs> Any old's a girl. Yeah. I've been reading. <laughs> Oh dear, oh dear. Uh, there we are, folks. There's an alcohol fact and a, a Viking fact there. <laughs> Said by the great Odin himself. <laughs> so far, I've got both my eyes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, did o Odin only have one eye, did he? Yeah. All oh, right. Oh, I've got an interesting fact. What's that? The fact is that that stinks. Oh, mate. That's that gammon. <laughs> You've been up to this camp before, then, Roy? Oh, a few times, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been over a couple of years now, Wayne. No, I've been no I mean, my one. Oh, no, well, I didn't know this till yet. last week. Wayne showed me. Yeah, it's lovely. Yeah, I, I didn't have too much of a nose, but I was quite impressed, actually. Yeah, it's just proper like King and his dead, isn't it? Yeah. But, yeah. This is Stuart's Castle. Yeah, it's very much yeah. Camp Castle. Nordic, yeah. And, uh, no Jeff and Wayne named it Camp Nordic because of me and the Viking paganism. Yeah, Love yeah, all that. Yeah, yeah. yeah, spot on. Oh, yeah. Well, he's tucking into nights, chocolate. Yeah, just just not overnight, Roy. The old work ethic, Monday. Yeah. Well, my work's all over the place. I work Saturday again. Yeah. Way it goes, isn't it? Yeah, but I, I have to work till 12, and then I'm on call, and today I didn't get called, so quite a long time. Yeah, day off. But getting used to that yeah. concept where you can do stuff. I went to the boat and I thought, oh, do I go to the yacht? bit far to get back to Newport in 20 minutes, do you know what I mean? Yeah, <laughs> so on, on the yacht, yeah. We need a speedboat on the river, and it bombed down because the riverside's just there, so like, That's it. Yeah. But yacht's a bit slower. Yeah, no. Down to the Covid farm. Yeah, oh, it's not a bit like that, do you? Yeah. Awesome. <coughs> yeah, I did, but I lost yeah. my mum recently. And when oh, I there's W.W. I came and going off to his hammock. Um, oh, he's tired. Just after, as <clears> I needed somewhere that was completely grounded because I was heavily in grief. And yeah, it's lovely. Yeah, me and Wade have been mates for like 30 years and, and, and mm. sort of done this sort of thing. Not so well organised as this, but we used to go down Newtown Creek with a five pound sleeping bag and a fucking box of matches. Do you know what I mean? In them days, we were like, oh, I can't do this anymore. I need to do yeah. it. This is better. This is this more. But I, I do this quite a lot. So. Yeah. You know. Well, that's like, Jeff, if you ever want to come up here, you've got a day off and you yeah, want to do yeah, come up here, that, use yeah, this. 
I, I I've got all, that. I've got lovely. all the kit here. Yeah, yeah. As long as you leave it the way you found, found it. it and contribute to anything I take. So yeah. I that's it. Yeah. Good. Round the back. I've got a big oh yeah, take that, mate. Ammunition container like that. There you go. Night, mate. Yeah. And obviously, nice to leave a few things that are handy. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Again, you know, if you light a fire and you use you use the logs, just yeah. leave a few. Chop some more up there. I always leave an axe yeah, here. Yeah. I've always got the saw that's here. That's it. You know, I, I do really appreciate it because it's something for me. Where I, I'm, I've, I've always lived over the back of, back end of the island, and it's quite difficult getting used to living. Which most people just take this for granted, but I'm used to living in the middle of nowhere, and I'm, I struggle. But with having this and my boat down there, it's it's balancing up being in what I call relatively towny environment. So, so having this opportunity for me. I mean, I've got my boat and stuff overnight, and, but I'm progressively leaving that area and it's, yeah you, know, you get used to i've been there too long i've been out of, well, i've been out of the best part of 35 years and it's like that's it it's just too small full of too many rich people and and the demographic ain't right out there for me it's all second homeowners and a couple of alcoholics and a, and a, and a load of rich people and i just don't fit yeah anymore. i don't fit i like the natural environment it's lovely. Exactly. Exactly. Southampton. Yeah. Southampton. Yeah. I moved, sort of territory, I moved over here five and a half years ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's the best thing I've ever done. Yeah, we're well, still close to what you knew, aren't you? So. Yeah. You know, it's like across the water to go and see the parents, although I haven't seen them since the first lockdown. Yeah. Which is hard. Mm. You know? But you're not far and you've got. No, that's it. And, you, and it's nice where you're just, you know this place because you're aware of it, not like someone that's moved, because I've not been horrible if you've moved from Birmingham. Yeah. been there 30 years you come here and s s s trample the place and that's what happens in trample it yeah you go right i want to do this i want this i want that and it's like whoa 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 slow down you know this place runs at a set speed it it, it, it resonates at speed you push it too hard you you ruin it it's already ruined in so many areas that, yeah you know people are just trash places what you've yeah. done it for me is i've been through three marriages now yeah yeah my second marriage I was head of security for Royal Bank of Scotland. Right, so you're quite high up job then. So I was working up in Reading, um, yeah. in London. Oh God, yeah, yeah. So I was commuting every day from Southampton to um, yeah. London, every single day. I did that seven years. Oh. You know, so I'd get up at stupid o'clock in the morning to get the train to London. Yeah. So what a normal eight hour day is, it was a 12 hour day for me, with travelling on top. Just exactly, yeah. You know, I never saw my wife, and in the end she took me for everything. Yeah, all your hard work. And you that's know, clear, and isn't it? that's when I had my first hour, hour yeah. heart attack, and I became an alcoholic, yeah, etc, etc. Et and now I'm a nobody, I'm a retail worker. Yeah, but are you? That's the thing. You, you know, know and... But the most important thing but is you. I'm the happiest person. You've know. got this beautiful woodland to relax and let all your stresses soak away. Beautiful. You know, so I want to exactly. give back to people mm. yeah, what, what I've got. And you then know? maybe a few warning signs to tell them that you don't need chasing those big jobs. I've done stuff like that. In London. Yeah, it's yeah. It's all right in one hand because, you know, it's, when you're younger as well, you can handle it. But fucking hell. I'm not, not being horrible about split asses, but they do that. They, 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 my experience, a lot of them is that they live this little fantasy, and if you feel that, and that's great. But if you don't, they just walk away, and they could be quite shameless, yeah. and and just like disappear with your gardener, and take everything that you spent five years working and blame you for it. Um, yeah, I see that a lot, and and you know, you're filming it. <laughs> oh yeah. I'm not saying they're all like that, but there's a lot of that. Oh yeah, of course there is. Yeah. It's really quite sad. Yeah, yeah. You know, I was on the big bucks when I was up in London. Yeah. You know, Good money. Hundred and twenty odd thousand pound a year, oh, you know. Yeah. Right. You know, now I'm on minimum wage. Yeah. yeah. But got I've got everything. Life. I've got yeah. everything I want. Yeah. yeah. yeah you've I've got, got a lovely wife. I've got the, yeah. the kids. Yeah. yeah. You know. Exactly. I've got really good friends over here. And a lovely woodland. And this lovely wood. Yeah, you're very lucky to have this. Yeah, you've oh, got a good yeah. job. We've this is where your skills at, isn't it? You shouldn't be working yeah. eight pound an hour. You should be. That's what uh, I want to uh, do, but I want to find a woodland so I can do the business there. Yeah, because you can't really invite outdoors people, uh, people that don't belong here. It just seems randomly, can you? I want to get somewhere <clears throat> so I can do the business. Yeah. But this would be my retreat yeah, from the business. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Escape down here to. Yeah. Yes. I'd most 
if you're doing that sort of thing every day, day in, day out, you, that motion would come monotonous after a while. Yeah, yeah. And you think, sure. oh, God's sake, But not it's again. rewarding to see the kids yeah. um, learning. Yeah. I mean, I, did, I was a tour guide for 10 years, and I used to take the kids hospital hunting along the shore at Brook. And um, most of the kids come down from London. One or two of the kids had never seen the sea. A lot of them didn't have any clue in how the sea worked and all the rest of it. So it wasn't just fossil hunting. We found a few fossils, but it's fundamentally explained to me, right, this is the sea, you know, the sea is that, and this is seaweed, and this is sand. And the fact that probably sort of 50% of them were absorbed in it, and that two of them would go away and learn a shitload was enough for me. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It's yeah. Like, you know, and one of them might come back and, you know, or might go off and work. That was with it for me when I started scouting and I was living in Reading. Yeah. The kids in the troop, none of them had ever seen the sea. No. Yeah, never seen that. Yeah, yeah they, cool. they've got woodlands up in Reading and all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they've never seen the sea. Yeah, never seen the sea. So Especially, I arranged a yeah. scout camp at the scout camp in the New Forest. So we came all the way down to the camp for two weeks and we took them down to Swanage. And they loved it. They were amazed. You know, this, this is in our country. They yeah. can't believe it. Because all they would be doing is going abroad and all that, sitting around a swimming pool and yeah, exactly. Yeah, especially now the weather's in our favour. It's always. I mean, I you can still do it in the winter. It's possible to to, to get off and well, you know. Jeff and White gave me permission to come up here August last year, mm. and say so we come up here twice a week now. Me and the wife, well, and the kids once a week. And it is our day away from the TV. Yeah. It's perfect, yeah. isn't it, Steve? Yes, my wife and myself bring our mobile phones, but we won't let the kids bring theirs. No. Yeah. They hate the thought that they can't have them up here. Joey keeps saying, oh, can I take my phone so I can take some pictures? No, take your camera. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, but I know I can do it on my phone. No, take your camera, because if you take your phone, you, all you do is sit there playing games. Yeah. yeah. You're not doing it. You know, and they've got their chores they have to do up here. Joey's is cutting the, chopping the logs. Jessica is stacking up the wood store. Yeah. And getting tinder. Oh yeah, Jessica, by the way, if you're watching this, we've burnt all your wood. <laughs> you want to film it. <laughs> oh yeah. Because she will watch the video, I'll make her watch it. <laughs> Not much left now, Jessica, is that? Look, look at that. Well, you have to fill it up for Dad again, won't you? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> this shout out here, that's Joey's, my son. Straight ahead. Oh, right, okay. That's my, he built that on his own. Yeah, and this one, the high one, that's Jessica's, right, which okay. she built on her own. Yeah. They've done a good job, really. And all they did was just copy the one I built. That one there. It's lovely, that one. That's really nice. <coughs> that's cool, isn't it? That's it does look cosy in there. It's really cosy when I've got my log burning stove in it. When these two are in hammocks and freezing their tits off. That is the last camp I would with, with you. You woke up and went, I'm never doing this again. <laughs> you were so cold. Can you remember that? It was cold. I'm never doing this again. Oh, God, yeah. But we're back. <laughs> but that was, yeah. That was cold that night. I came down here when it snowed once. Snow, but... Yeah, I've been folks. down here when it snowed, not to camp. Water. But it's that night it was pets, and um, sometimes I have them on their shoulders. There is a like a Gary's bed tonight, look. Look at that. Nice little bivvy. What brand is this one? Yeah, Gary. Yeah, Sunpack. Sunpack. Snug pack, snug pack. Yeah. Some, yeah, oh, yeah, no, I can't remember what these bloody things are called. Remember I said off the shell on the fifth day, so it's all... Snug pack. Snug pack. Oh, yeah, they're a good brand. Yeah. There you are, folks. There's Gary's uh, hotel for the night. It was so close. Very nice. What's that? It was quite scary. It was quite scary. Yeah. 
hopefully that'll be hot enough to get it going again in the morning. Oh, it should be, mate, yeah. <coughs> Alright, folks, I'm going to make my way to the hammock. Carry that. Show it there. Good night, viewers. We'll see you in the morning, folks. Yep. See you in the morning. Morning viewers. Oh. <laughs> <God>. <laughs> <laughs> w W. There's Stuart. Morning. There's Gary all ready to go there. Yeah. Good night, Gary on the oh, I certainly did. Yeah. Yeah. It's nice to get away from the missus and the kids. <laughs> oh, we wait till she watches this Ooh. video. <laughs> <laughs> she writes your laugh. Here lies Stuart. Died. <laughs> twenty twenty one. So a cup of tea. Sit around the fire for a while, then strike down camp. Awesome. That's it, yeah, because you got to collect some more double, bits, and yeah, 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 he's just, he's just back to the car, take some stuff, and he'll be back to get some more. Awesome. <laughs> there we are, folks, all struck camp. Gary, Stuart there, laying there, just sorting out nice and stuff. So until the next wild camp. See you soon, viewers. Bye, -bye viewers. Bye for now. TFN. Yeah.